When you visit your doctor, you expect your medical information to remain private. But tonight, in a News 10 investigation, we uncover boxes of confidential patient files left behind in a decommissioned mid-Michigan hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. Our findings bring questions about how private patient information is being protected by one of Lansing's largest hospitals. In a story you're only seeing on News 10 tonight, our Tanaya Jordan investigates if McLaren Greater Lansing is properly safeguarding its medical records. When McLaren Greater Lansing opened its new state-of-the-art hospital near Michigan State University's campus, it closed its Pennsylvania and Green Lawn campuses. Left behind, used office furniture, electronics, medical equipment, and more, no longer needed at the new facility. Hospital officials decided to auction off the items and gave the public an opportunity to inspect them before going up for sale. We were interested in like a new refrigerator because some of those things are like listed for like $5 as an auction bidding price. But not everything left behind was meant for the public's eyes. We walked into one of the rooms, had some computers and monitors, and there was like maybe about five boxes and had an open top on it. In images sent to News 10, patient names, addresses, phone numbers, and medical information could be clearly seen. We blacked out that information. A whistleblower we are calling Troy says he was surprised to find these files out in the open while he was looking through auction items. Troy asked us to conceal his identity, but says he wanted to come forward so sensitive material could be properly disposed of. You know, because there's a lot of people to just take a whole new identity and like have like date of birth and social security is all anybody needs to do anything with. And it's just like, get this stuff out of here, please. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, also known as HIPAA, is a federal law meant to prevent sensitive patient information from being released without the patient's approval. Violations of patient privacy could lead to fines or other regulatory action. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, in 2021, there were 64,000 breaches affecting more than 37 million people. Whether that patient information is in printed form or within their medical record information or even within the data um, being held in the storage of the medical record system. Michelle McDonald is a compliance officer at Michigan State University Healthcare. She's not connected to the alleged breach at McLaren. But she says hospitals, doctor and dentist offices, pharmacies, and anyone who handles personal medical information has a responsibility to make sure this information doesn't get into the wrong hands. We have physical safeguards in place, including proper disposal of protected health information. Um, all locations have shred bins where our staff can essentially dispose of those records. News 10 reached out to McLaren, which oversees 14 hospitals in Michigan and Ohio. They didn't want to provide us an on-camera interview about the files that were found. But in an email, a hospital spokesman says during the transition to its new health care campus last year, it undertook a massive data destruction effort to ensure physical copies of old patient records, legal and business documents were appropriately purged. The statement goes on to say that it is absolutely unacceptable that someone was able to gain access to any documents that had yet to be purged. McLaren says it is investigating and will make sure it fulfills regulatory requirements, including patient notification and identity protection. It says patient privacy is paramount and that it has made sure documents awaiting destruction are being properly locked in secure areas. News 10 reached out to the patient whose information was seen in this photo. She says she's concerned that the hospital didn't do more, telling us she's shocked and disappointed that her personal information wasn't properly taken care of. For Troy, who found the files laying around the former Pennsylvania Avenue campus, he hopes medical officials who oversee sensitive information do more to protect their patients from theft of personal data. Because that stuff... It's important, you know, how quickly somebody can ruin your, your, your credit history, the things that you do. You know, I lock all my stuff down because I don't, you know, want anybody opening things, you know, you know like a loan or something in my name. Uh, it can really mess people's lives up. In Lansing, Tanaya Jordan, News 10. If you think your information may have fallen into the wrong hands, Michigan's Attorney General says you may want to contact a credit monitoring service or get ID theft insurance. 
We have a complete list of resources from Michigan's Consumer Protection Division on our website, wilx.com.